today I am super excited to make hamburgers, but first we have to make buns. And I know, you could very easily go to the store and get hamburger buns. I like to make my own. First of all, I love the smell of fresh baked bread and it permeates the entire house and makes me very happy. But I, I also like that there's a lot less sodium in the hamburger buns that I make at home because they don't need to be preserved as well as they do selling in the store. So I'm going to start with a cup of, um, I'm sorry, a half a cup, a stick of unsalted butter, a cup of water, and two cups of milk. And we're going to put this on low and really just wait for the butter to melt. We do not need, it doesn't need to boil, it doesn't need to be hot, it just needs to be warm enough to activate our yeast. So while that heats up, we're going to head over to the table and start on our bread. So while our water, butter, milk mixture is heating up on the stove, I'm going to work on the dry ingredients. We're going to start with four cups of flour. In total, you're going to need nine. We're going to start with four. I have four tablespoons of white sugar. I have four and a half teaspoons or two instant packets of yeast. And then I have three teaspoons of salt. And this is, again, double the recipe. So we're just going to stir that together and then wait for our milk mixture to be ready. And then we'll be at the mixer. Okay, so our milk is heated up. We are going to pour it into our flour mixture. And we're going to turn this on. First, we're going to plug it in. We're going to mix it just enough to combine it. Not totally together. And then we're going to add two eggs. cups of flour. We're going to turn it on slow, let it combine, and then we'll turn the mixer up. But what I want to make sure is that flour doesn't go flying out the top of the mixer, mixer as soon as we up the speed of it. timer for four minutes because I want it to go for four minutes and up the speed to three. I'm going to let the bread mix the mixer do the kneading of the bread so I don't have to do it by hand. Our four minutes are up so now I'm going to add one more cup of flour. I'm going to slowly integrate it into the bat to the dough and then turn it on high or on medium again. That didn't work. Exactly what I did not want to happen is what happened. Our bread is mixed for another four minutes. So now we're going to take it out of the bowl and put it in a lightly greased bowl over here and then sit it in a, we're gonna cover it up with plastic wrap and then let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour so that it can rise. So our hamburger bun dough has risen, as you can see, it's way bigger than it was. So what I'm gonna do now 
is sprinkle my table with a little bit of flour. And then pour my dough in. So I want about four ounces of dough to make a hamburger bun. I use um, two ounces for sliders. That's way too much. There we go. So all I'm going to do is roll them around until I get a perfectly round ball. And I'm going to set them up on my baking sheet. And we'll do this until we have um, them all rolled out. And then we will cover them and let them rise again for another 30 minutes before we bake them. So all of our buns are rolled out and I made 18 of them. So the last thing to do is we're going to press down just a little on each one. And then wrap in saran wrap. And then let them rise for 30 minutes and then we'll bake them. So our bread has risen for the second time. So now we're going to put it in a 400 degree oven and bake it for 15 minutes. So our tra first tray of hamburger buns is out of the oven and they look beautiful and they smell amazing. And I can't wait to slice into one. <laughs> 